Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to work with Jupyter Notebook and Google Colab. These two are popular IDEs which are used to execute Python programs. Before starts today's video, try to recall what we discussed in our last video. In that last video, we discussed how to execute Python programs using system prompt. If you didn't watch that, please watch that and continue this video. After watching this video, you will be able to know what is IDE, some popular IDEs for Python, how to install Anaconda Navigator, how to execute Python programs using Jupyter Notebook, what is Google Colab, how to execute Python programs using Google Colab. Let us try to understand what is IDE first. The full form for the IDE is Integrated Development Environment. It is a software for developing applications or building the applications that combines common developer tools into a single graphical user interface. What does it mean is IDE is one application that is one software. When you install this IDE, that software provides all the tools which are required to develop the code, execute the code, debugging the tool. An IDE understand your code much better than a text editor. A normal text editor cannot understand Python syntaxes. But the IDE is whatever we are going to use for the Pythons that can understand all the syntactical rules of the Python. That IDE can give the suggestion to you also. So many features we have in the IDEs. Let us see some popular IDEs for the Python. First one is Anaconda Navigator. This is more popular IDE to execute Python programs and machine learning programs also. Next is Google Collaboratory. Simply you can use it Google Colab. You can execute all type of the Python programs or machine learning programs, data science related programs using Google Colab. Next one is PyCharm. This is also more popular IDE for the Python. And Visual Studio Code or simply VS Code. This is also one of the popular IDE to execute Python programs. Python IDLE, when you install the Python software, you will get it by default. Already we have seen that how to execute Python programs using IDLE. And Spider, this is also one of the most popular IDE for the Python. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install the Anaconda Navigator, how to work with the Jupyter Notebook. Later, we will see how to work with the Google Collab also. Let us start. Then now we are going to download Anaconda Navigator. For that, open the browser and in the Google type Anaconda Navigator download. Then press enter. See, this is the official website anaconda.com. Just click on that. Then here we have two options. You can start the coding by using cloud or you can download the software. Just click on the download option. After downloading the software, just double click on that software to install into your system. I double clicked on that. Click on run. Click on next button. Click on agree. Just click on next. Then click on install. Click on next. Again click on next. Then click on finish. So this is the installation process of Anaconda Navigator. After successful installation, to open the Anaconda Navigator in the search box, type Anaconda Navigator and you can observe here we have the Anaconda Navigator. Just click on that. So it takes few minutes to open. So when you open the Anaconda Navigator, this is the home page. If you observe so many options we have, 
If you want to execute the Pythons using the Jupyter Notebook, click on Launch here. Okay, here we have the Jupyter Notebook and click on Launch. You can write and execute your Python programs using Jupyter Notebook. Otherwise, if you want to use Spider, yes, you can use Spider also. Click on Launch button here. Spider will be open. Spider environment will be open. If you want to use PyCharm also, here we have that option, but you need to click on install that will be also installed and added here. So, so many features we have here. If you want to execute our programs also, we can click on install and you can use our studio. At this time, I want to work with the Jupyter notebook. So I'm clicking on launch button. When you clicked on the launch button, you can observe this is the Jupyter notebook environment. So now if you want to execute Python programs, you need to create new notebook. To create the new notebook, what you need to do is, you can observe here, we have a new option. Click here and select Python 3. I'm clicking on this Python 3, then a new notebook will be created to you. By default, the name is Untitled. If you want to rename it, click on Untitled and give any name and click on rename. Now see here, Python is the name of my Jupyter Notebook. This box is called generally cell. Then click here, write the code. Now I want to execute a simple code, print welcome to Jupyter. If you want to execute this, click on run button. You have run button here, click on that. After click on the run button, the statement or statements will be executed and you will get the output. This is the output of that statement. Like this, you must write the program in the cell and click on the run button. Very simple procedure here. Suppose I want to write a code to find the sum of the two numbers. Then click on run button. You will get the output. This is how to use Jupyter Notebook. Now let us see how to work with Google Colab. Open the Google and type Google Colab. You will be redirected to the Google Collaboratory page. But if you want to use Google Collaboratory, your system must be connected to the internet and you must sign in. Okay. Click on the sign in button. After login with your Gmail ID and password, you can observe this environment. Now we want to create a new notebook. So for that, click here. We have the option new notebook. Click on new notebook option. A new notebook will be created for you. Now, if you observe this, the environment of the Google Colab and Jupyter notebook is probably same. But the major difference is Google Collaboratory is a cloud based platform. If you want to use Google Collaboratory, your system must be connected to the internet. The advantage of the Google Collaboratory is you can write the program and your programs will be saved in the cloud. You can access it from the anywhere. And now see, this is the by default name for your notebook. If you want to change this, just rename it. Click here and give your name. Click here and rename the file depending on your requirement. I want to give simply Python. One more important point here, the extension of the this notebook file is IPYNB, Interactive Python Notebook File. Write the code in this box. Simply I am writing welcome message, print method using the print method, print welcome to Google Collab. Then how to execute again simple, just press on this play button, run button. Now it is connecting to the Google Cloud. Some memory will be initialized to you. Okay, after connecting that, your programs will be executed. You can observe here some amount of RAM, some amount of the disk will be allocated to your programs. All the programs will be saved in the cloud only. So this is the output of this line. Print welcome to Google Colab. This is the output. Now if you want to take one more cell, just click on code option here. If you want to write a normal text also, you can write. Suppose if you click on the code, a code cell will be created. Now you can write your code. 
Now I want to write the sum of the two numbers program for easy understanding. Now this is my program. Just click on the run button. This is the output of that program. If you want to write a normal text, not a code, then click on text. This is useful to you. Give the headers to your programs. Suppose if you want to give any headings to your work, you can write here. Let me give one heading to my programs, Python basic programs. After writing the text, use shift enter to exit from the text mode. Then if you want to write the programs, then again continue your programs. This is how to use Google Collaboratory. Very simple, I hope. After completion of your work, if you want to save your files and if you want to share your files with others also, you can do that. Save your copy at GitHub and save your copy in the your Google Drive. You can do that. And if you want to download your complete work also, you can do that. This is a very wonderful feature we have in the Google Collab.